UEFN is here. I am so excited about it. So this is all you have to do. You have to install the Epic Games Launcher. First, you're going to need to install Fortnite if you have not already. Then you're going to go ahead and choose Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Should be here on the home screen ready for you to download. You'll click Get It Now. When you click Get It Now, all you have to do is hit the download button right here. I already did that step, so it's in the library. So once it's downloaded, you'll see it right here next to Fortnite. Then all you need to do is launch the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. All right, so this does take a little while to launch, but once you get in, it looks awesome. Everything looks really great. It looks just like Unreal Editor. And just like that, Fortnite already knows who you are if you signed in through the Epic Games Store. So once you're logged in, you don't have to log in again. You'll see it says Direct and Pete right up there. And you're going to see every island I've ever created show up in my library of projects right here. Now, I'm not going to be choosing any of these just because it is a little early and I do not want to convert anything without testing first. So I'm going to start with a brand new island template. I highly suggest you duplicate your island in normal Fortnite Creative first before opening it in my projects. Once you go to island templates, you could choose something simple. This one is created specifically for UEFN. So we're going to go ahead and use this project as an example. And in the matter of seconds, I'm getting into this project. It's loading in. It looks beautiful, by the way, using Lumen and Nanite and everything looks great. Now, I'm not going to do anything except hit launch session. What this is going to do, it's going to launch Fortnite and it's going to test the game in Fortnite. So UEFN does not actually do testing within UEFN. It will launch Fortnite in the background. I have noticed that having UEFN and Fortnite open at the same time does put a lot more load on my computer. I have a 3070 graphics card and when hitting launch session for this very basic render, I have noticed it can take up to three minutes to start a game. This can be very frustrating if you're testing anything like a little line of verse code or you make one minor change. A three minute wait time is an awful lot. I am hoping they improve this, but for right now, it does seem like you're really going to want to make sure your changes are working correctly before you launch your session. We had three minutes of waiting so we could get this very small little plot of land to load and test. Now, this is great. I hope they improve the speed of edit mode because it does take a while. However, you're all set, ready to go within UEFN. I will be creating more exciting content coming very soon, and I cannot wait to share it with you. Until next time, take care.